Took my gram to see It's a Wonderful Life here. It's so cool in 2019. Hey guys, Brandy here. Welcome to Sewing Back. And just got back. We went down to Marietta, Georgia. That's like the big square. It's actually the square where um, John and I got married almost 32 years ago. Uh, we actually Whenever we go, we tend to go up to the gazebo where we got married, give our give us give each other a smooch, and uh, you know, kind of go down memory lane. But we went we headed up there today because it was farmers markets day, and so Meredith Square is a really large um, farmers market on Saturday mornings. Plus, they have an artisans market, which we didn't really go over there today. Um, just didn't I had some cold stuff, and so. Didn't really want to hang over there and while we were down that way we stopped at the Marietta feed seed and got some seeds for the garden and um, got a couple pig ears for my dogs and I got um, chicken treats and things like that but um, we went and we picked up John wanted some more purple top turnips and I wanted some Georgia collards I planted the other collards and they're starting to come up but I want some Georgia collards and I want to plant a lot of collards this year so I picked some of those up and I was really excited because I did a seed order from Haas the other day for some more seeds um, for some things I wanted to grow that I, I didn't have including broccoli even though I think I told you in my video I ordered some from Azure they sold out um, before my stuff it was gonna ship and so um, I ordered some from Haas and that stuff's been shipped and I should get it. But when I was going through Haas's site, they had a lima bean. I did the Christmas lima bean last year. I wasn't real thrilled with the production for all the space that it took up. And I had heard that he had on his site called King of the Garden Lima Bean. It's a pole bean, so it goes up a trellis. And I have been contemplating ripping out my Kentucky Wonders. They've just been overtaken by bean beetles and um, Japanese beetles. They haven't really produced. And um, I've thought about replanting a row of those. Or actually, I've thought about not even replanting those and replanting my rattlesnake beans because they're doing really well. And I know they do well here. We like them. Um, and I have plenty of those because I seed save those. Um, and I was thinking on the opposite side uh, of my trellis, I wanted to do maybe try another lima bean. So when we went in the Meredith Feed and Seed, they had a king of the garden seed. And um, so, but I have to get it in the ground today. So if I'm gonna do this, I gotta do it. Otherwise, they'll have to wait for the spring um, so that I have enough time. So we, we did that. We also got some, there's another place we go to to get untreated pine straw. We got some pine straw to put out on the chicken run. I wanted to show you what I got. Um, oh, we got a couple pig ears for the dogs. They like those, and they don't get them very often. But one of the reasons I went to Meredith Square was because I'm going to do a video. It won't be in this video, but it'll be an upcoming video. I'm going to show you how I make my bone broth with... Da, 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 da. Chicken feet. Um, chicken feet makes the best bone broth. You get all of the rich collagen and the farm, and I'll actually insert a picture of the farm, uh, kind she the Kind Shepherd Farm uh, is where I get my chicken feet from, and they actually skin theirs and clamps so theirs. You can just cook with them right away. Um, I will say in the state of Georgia, because they're all natural, organic, all that kind of stuff. They, it says that this is for pet consumption. Sure, okay. I make it for my dogs. So, 
Actually, I would feed it to my dogs and I'd eat it. I'd eat it over a lot of the stuff that sold commercially. I also bought one of their meat chickens, um, which I'm going to thaw out and I'm going to roast this one. And then I went to the goat cheese. Um, there's a goat cheese. Hold on. My puppy wants in. He knows I have pig ears. All right, you gotta sit. Puppies have to sit. Puppies, let's see. Right, uh -uh, come back. Do back. Do back. Do back. All right, sit. Uh uh. Lucy over here. Oh, Odie. Odie, sit. 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 No, you have to sit. <gasps> Lucy. Lucy, come here, girl. Sit. Sit. <gasps> You're being a good girl. <sighs> oh, you gotta wait. Gotta wait. Here we go. Good puppies. <laughs> Um, anyway, they, uh, there's usually a lady I go to at the Ackworth Farmer's Market on Fridays. I haven't made it up there. We had a school thing for my son yesterday, so I couldn't get up there, and I really wanted to get some goat cheese. I love the goat cheese. I love the savory samplers and the sweet samplers, um, but she also had the, um, I forget what this stuff is called, but it's like olive oil and it's got olives in it. It's got roasted red peppers and uh, sun-dried tomatoes and it has the feta cheese and goat cheese and it's really good on just uh, some pasta, which was the other thing. My pasta lady, I got some of the Kamut. I'm so excited to make this with some... Um, I want to use this to make uh, some chicken noodle soup, I think. And I have, I got a second one, and I'm thinking I might want to do um, maybe like a Swedish meatball um, upcoming with that. I'll have to kind of research that one a little bit, but my one son loves Swedish meatballs, and I'd like to try to learn how to make that for him since I can totally eat this pasta, but she was there. So I got those items. I didn't buy any produce because I have produce coming out my ears of my own garden right now. But I did go to this place I found, and I've seen it before, but I haven't went inside. And it's been there for a long time on Meredith Square. It's called The Keeping Room. And I have, uh, I have been looking at some of the enamelware. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of this. And I particularly... The one that I had seen that I like, they have a yellow speckled, and they also have a green speckled, and they're real, they're both kind of harder to find. Well, I went in, I saw that they had a piece of the red in the window, and so I went into the store, and I'm looking, and I see the black and the gray, the blue, the red. I didn't see any green, um, and then they had just like plain, they had a plain white one, um, and they had a couple different pieces. But I was really interested in one of these big bowls and or one of the roaster pans and she didn't have any of the roaster pans and I said I said do you carry any of the yellow and she says right there it had its own display further back in the store and I got the big bowl I'm so excited so and I got it in the yellow and I just thought I love yellow and I thought it would be really pretty in my kitchen and I got me a new uh silicone spoon which is you want to use the silicone with the enamel wear or wooden um, so you don't scratch it up just like you would with your uh, Le Creuset pans and stuff like that and I was so excited that I found that and then I went in there and it just made for a really fun morning and so I just kind of wanted to show you I'm gonna insert a little bit of uh, pictures and videos of some of the vendors and things and if you happen to be uh, coming through on a Saturday from 8 to 12, you should head up to Marietta Square, check out their market. Uh, I think the Artisan Market actually goes until maybe 3 in the afternoon, um, and it has all kinds of artists and things like that. But if you're interested in the different farms and goodies, and there's all kinds of stuff um, that you can get. It was fun watching all the people who had picked up uh, flower arrangements and uh, and stuff like that, but you should check it out. There's lots of great shops on Marietta Square, lots of good places to eat. Um, we had just eaten breakfast and had a coffee, and uh, so we didn't stop to eat anywhere, but really happy with my finds and what I got. I'm so excited that I got my chicken feet, 
and you should be looking, if you get to know a farmer in your area, you should be checking out if you can get chicken feet to make bone broth. Um, I know that Azure Standard sells it. I checked on there. They've been sold out, or you have to buy like this massive quantity, and I don't have a way I'm not going to make that much bone broth, and I don't have a way to keep all of it because I forgot, I think it was like 20 pounds of chicken feet, and so I just don't have that much freezer space to dedicate to that. So I typically go, I save up my bones, put those in the skin and things like that when I'm having chicken, put it in the freezer, and then I, when I'm ready to do it, I go to the Kind Shepherd Farm and get um, some of their chicken feet. And um, I will show you that in an upcoming video, but it was a fun day. We had a good time, and you should check out those local farmer's markets. I'm hoping maybe I'll do another one, but I really want to go up to Cartersville. That's really one of my favorite markets, and I also probably need to do Ackworth. Ackworth, the, it's, it's really small. Marriott is big. It's a big one. Cartersville's pretty good size as well, and um, so... But it's, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, thank you for looking at my haul, my farmer's market haul, and my enamel wear find. And um, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>